everyone welcome to Sierra and, and Sarata. Today we are going to talk about magnets. Magnets have the special property of attracting things towards its direction. Do you know where there are instances we use we use magnets in our day-to-day -day life? Some instances are small motors, pencil boxes and some toys. Now I will show you the magnet inside a pencil box. You can see this is the magnet inside the pencil box and this is the metal piece. When we close it, these two get stick together. Here is a chess board. And these pieces have a magnet. And this is made of metal. Then when we keep this, they stick to the board. Now we are going to open this set. Yes, there are some magnets inside. So let's start. You can see this is called a U-shaped magnet. And this is called a bar magnet. This is called a ring magnet. And this is a oval shaped magnet. You can see there are two paper clips. Look, these uh, oval magnets are super strong. Some thread. And this is the bar magnet. U shaped magnet. Uh, you they see stick to each that? other. Now you can see there is S and N marked on these two magnets. This means North Pole and this means South Pole. These two always turns to the North and South. Now let's do a fun activity. Activity you will need a glass of water and two paper clips. Put the paper clips in the water. And now you have to try to take them out without getting your hand wet. Now use the magnets to take the paper clips out of the water, like this. Let's see what are the items which attract to the magnet. Let's see is a spoon attracting for the magnet. Because the spoon is made out of metal, it attracts to the magnet. Let's see if the feather attracts the magnet. The feather doesn't attract the magnet because it doesn't have any metal. Let's see if the nail cutter attracts to the magnet. Yes, the nail cutter is metal so it attracts to the magnet. Let's see is Plastic attracting for magnet. No, it doesn't attract to magnet. Let's see some paper clips. Are they attracting? Yes, they attract to the magnet because they are metal. Now let's see, are pencils attracted to the magnet? Pencils are made of wood. No, pencils do not attack to the to the magnet because they are not made of metal. They are made of wood. With this activity, you can find out the things which attract to the magnet are metallic things. If we if we attract two different size sides, it attracts each other. But if we try to stick the same sides, it does not stick. They repel. So, I'm tight. Let's see what's going to happen. It's moving from the other magnet. Now, let's do an activity to learn more about the poles. If you took a water basin filled up with water and a small lid 
then keep the magnet on it, you can see the north side of the magnet is always going to point to the north side. And the south side of the magnet will always point to the south side. Magnets are always resting in the north-south direction. We are going to do another activity. Now we are going to check out how metal moves on the paper. First you will need a paper. Then you can take any type of magnet. Then take help of one of your friends. And you can see the paper clip is moving around. You can see it's moving around on the paper. It's like somebody somebody dancing or something. <laughs> So you can see my sister is also doing it. I'm using an oval magnet. Yeah, it's kind of circles. Look, if you want to see, look, it can stick also. I don't need to hold. You even can shake the magnet from this way. Like this. Thank you everyone.